Now in this video, let's do a couple of examples for rationalizing one-term radicals. So for these two examples, we're going to rationalize the denominator. And then for these two, we're going to rationalize the numerator. Now, if you didn't watch the overview video for rationalizing one-term radicals, I would highly suggest you do that before watching this one. So for this first one, 2 over 3 root 3, we want to get rid of this root 3 in the denominator. So what we would do is we would multiply it by an expression where that root 3 is both in the numerator and the denominator. So it's like we're multiplying it by 1. Now 2 times root 3, that would just give us 2 root 3 in the numerator. Now you want to be careful in this step. When you multiply 2 and root 3, make sure that you don't write root 6. That's a common mistake because that would be an equivalent. So let's do a little review here. If you're multiplying an expression a root b times c root d, well, the numbers that are outside of the radical, the a and the c, those would multiply, and then the root b and the root d multiply inside the radical. But notice here how the 2 is not inside a radical and the root 3 is inside a radical. So you can't just multiply those two and make it equal to root 6. You have to keep them separate. So it would be 2 root 3. So just be aware of that. And then multiplying the denominator, so 3 root 3 times root 3, well there's like this 1 in front of the root 3 there, so 3 times 1, the numbers that are outside of the radicals we multiply together, so that would be 3. And then root 3 times root 3, that would just be root 9, and the square root of 9 is just 3. And then what we do is we can simplify this uh, denominator, so we'd have 2 root 3 over 9. So that there, that expression is equivalent to the original expression we had, 2 over 3 root 3, but notice how there's no radical in the denominator. You can check your answer, plug this in, get a decimal value, plug this in, get a decimal value, make sure they're both equivalent. Moving on to the next example, we got root 6 minus root 2 over root 3, and we have to rationalize the denominator, so we got to get rid of this root 3. Now, Initially looking at this, you would think that it's a two-term radical because in the numerator, there's this root 6 minus root 2. However, because we're rationalizing the denominator and there's only a single term in the denominator, we would still use the same format as we do when we rationalize one-term radicals. So we would just take this radical and multiply it by root 3 over root 3. For example, if this was switched, if the root 3 was in the numerator and the root 6 minus root 2 was in the denominator, then the format would be different. We would have to multiply by conjugate and we would have to be rationalizing a two-term radical. And we'll go over that in a future video. But because there's only that one term in the denominator and we're rationalizing it, we still just multiply it by that root 3 over root 3. So now what you do is you take this root 3 and multiply by root 6 minus root 2, you distribute that root 3 in the bracket. So root 3 times root 6 would give you root 18, and then root 2 times root 3 would give you root 6. And then root 3 times root 3, that just gives you the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is just 3 by itself. Now usually you can just leave it at this point, but if you notice the root 18 we can simplify further. We could turn it into a mixed expression because the root 18 we could split up into root 9 times root 2, and then root 9 gives us a nice squareable number of 3. The root 2 stays as is minus root 6, we can't simplify that anymore, and then we have it all over 3. So either way, this one or this one, but both of these expressions, this one here and this one here, are equivalent to our original expression, but notice how there's no radical in the denominator now. And again, check your answer, plugging both in the calculator, making sure you get the same decimal amount. Moving on to the third example, we got 4 root 5 over 3 and we have to rationalize the numerator. So we have to get rid of this root 5 in the numerator. So we would just multiply it by root 5 <coughs> over root 5. So in front of the root 5 there's like this 1, so 4 times 1 just gives us 4. And then root 5 times root 5, that just gives us 5. And then 3 times root 5, that just gives us 3 root 5. 4 times 5 is 20. 
and then the denominator stays as 3 root 5 and I don't think there's anything else we could do to simplify it. So this expression and this original expression are equal but notice how there's no radical left in the numerator. There's only a 20 left. So again check your answer. This expression and this original expression should be the same decimal amount. And moving on to our fourth example, we got root 3 over root 5 plus root 3 and we have to rationalize the numerator so we got to get rid of this root 3 in the numerator. Now don't get confused as we did in the third example thinking it's a two term radical we're rationalizing the numerator and there's only one term in the numerator so we would follow the same format we would just multiply it by root 3 over root 3. Now the numerators, root 3 times root 3, that just gives us 3. Now this root 3 here, when we multiply by root 5 plus root 3, we have to distribute it in the brackets. So root 3 times root 5, that just gives us root 15. Then root 3 times root 3, that would just give us 3. Or the square root of 9, which simplifies to 3. And notice how we can't simplify this anymore. So this expression and this original expression are equivalent. If you check in your calculator, you'll get the same decimal amounts. But notice how in the final expression, there is no radical in the numerator left because we rationalized it. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.